Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. I got so many requests from you to make something in honor of the new Avengers movie, Infinity War. I am super excited. I wanted to make something themed, so today we are going to be making Infinity Stone cupcakes. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the Infinity Stones, in the Marvel Universe there are six stones and they each have a different power. And when you put them all together, they make an Infinity Gauntlet. And that's why I got over here. So just tell the Avengers they don't need to look for them anymore, fight for them anymore. So an easy mode explanation if you're not familiar with the Infinity Stones in the Marvel Universe is each stone is a different color and has a different power. And when you get them all together and put them in this glove, it's called the Infinity Gauntlet and you have the ability to control the entire universe. Let's go through the stones. The red one here is the reality stone. The yellow, mind, blue, space, purple, power, orange, soul, and green, time. Okay, I'm gonna set this back over here. I'll wait for the Avengers to come get it. And while we're waiting, let's make some themed cupcakes. I thought a really fun recipe would be to make some pop rock cupcakes and decorate them to look like the different infinity stones. Do you get it? Because it's the pop rocks and the stones. It's, I thought it'd be cute. All right, let's get started. The things you'll need to make these cupcakes will be half a cup of milk, one and a half cups of cake flour, one cup of sugar, two large eggs, half a cup of butter at room temperature, some metallic gold cupcake liners, fourth a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and some pop rocks. We're gonna need about a quarter cup. Then the things you'll need to decorate will be some buttercream frosting in a piping bag fitted with a number 1A tip, some colored sanding sugar in a bunch of different colors. We'll be using yellow, red, purple, green, blue, and orange. And lastly, to top our cupcakes, we'll be using candy gems to look like the infinity stones. And again, the colors we'll use are yellow, red, purple, green, blue, and orange. First step to making pop rock cupcakes is mixing together our dry ingredients in a medium bowl. Pour in your flour, baking powder, and salt. Then whisk together until well combined and set off to the side. Now in a larger bowl, we will cream together butter and sugar. Using an electric hand mixer, mix together on a medium speed until it's light and fluffy. This usually takes a couple minutes. This is what it looks like when it's light and fluffy. Now add in your eggs one at a time. Add the whole egg and mix in between each addition. We've got our dry ingredients, wet ingredients, and milk. Now we're gonna add them all together. Add a third of the dry, mix it up, add half the milk, mix it up, second third of the dry, mix it up, the other half of the milk, mix it up, then the last of the dry, mix it up. Our batter is almost ready, but we have to add our Pop Rocks before they bake. This is gonna be so cool, you guys. This is, this is gonna be so, I'm really excited. Just sprinkle them in, <gasps> and you can hear them, all of the little explosions. Listen, listen. For anyone not familiar with folding, it's a little different than mixing. You're just gonna take your spatula, go underneath the batter, and flip over, then turn. Go underneath, over, and turn. Underneath, over, and turn. Keep doing this until they're well incorporated. Our batter is now ready. Our pop rocks are still popping. You can kind of hear them. So cool. Now we're gonna scoop the batter into the cupcake tray. Also to note, the Pop Rocks makes the batter more airy. So instead of filling each cavity two thirds full like we normally do, just halfway this time. Cupcakes are ready to bake. Pop them in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for 15 minutes. After your cupcakes have baked, give them plenty of time to cool, then it's time to frost. Just take a look at these. All the Pop Rocks exploded and it looks really cool. To frost them, I have some buttercream frosting in a piping bag with a number 1A tip for a little bit more control. I'll be piping domes on the top of each cupcake. Once your cupcakes are frosted, cover them in the different colors of sanding sugar. I'm only decorating six today, one for each stone, but you can make as many cupcakes as you'd like. Let's start with the space stone, yes. I think Neil deGrasse Tyson would be proud. I like to hold the cupcake over the bowl and gently pour the sprinkles on top. Green sanding sugar all over this cupcake for the time stone. Orange sanding sugar for the soul stone. 
red sanding sugar for Reality Stone, purple sanding sugar for the Power Stone, and yellow sanding sugar for the Mind Stone. And now it's time for the final decoration step, which is to add our Hard Candy Infinity Stones. To make these, I use the recipe from the Nerdy Nubbies Cookbook. I'll put the recipe down below in the description, and I've made another video using this recipe, so I'll put a link down below to that as well. For these exact gems, I use the gem mold from my baking line, and I use the shape in the middle. Also, I wanted the gems to rest a little lower, so I only filled them up halfway. Decoration is super easy, just match the gems to the corresponding color cupcake. And ta-da! Here are the Infinity Stone cupcakes that we made today. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something for the new Avengers movie, Infinity War. I'll be posting a bunch of pictures and the homemade Pop Rock cupcake recipe on RosannaPancito.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, so you can check it out there. And if you guys make these cupcakes, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy, it makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerds, Nubbies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.